Okay, so in today's math lesson, we're dividing fractions, except this time we're taking a fraction and we're going to divide it by a whole number, uh, which is kind of interesting. So in the first one here, we're taking one half and we're dividing it into four parts. So I guess a good way to think about it is, is uh, something like this. Let's say you have a friend with a, a half tray of uh, brownies. And so let's draw that for a second here. So we have a, we have a tray or half tray, there it is. Here's a half tray of brownies, all right? And then what he wants to do is he wants to divide that into four parts. Now, you can divide that into four parts this way, if you'd like. And if you do, um, that's really what the deal is. So I'm taking one half. So here's my one half right here. Here's my one half. And I'm dividing it into four parts. And that's what I did. One, two, three, which gives me four parts. Now, uh, what's left here is this guy here. So basically, every friend is going to get this piece right here. So... Each friend is going to get this piece. The question is, what is the value of that piece? Well, um, if I was to actually split everything into thirds now, uh, excuse me, um, fourths, all right, we'll notice that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. So we have a total of eight pieces, and one of which will be going to that friend. So if I started with, a, with one half and I split that into four parts, that means everyone's getting one eighth. Um, and that's how it works, okay? So one-eighth of, of the entire pan. Or you can kind of look at it like this. You say, all right, so here's my one-half, and I'm going to divide it by four. Now what I want to do here is find um, an equivalent fraction here. So one-half of that pan, if I was to divide it into fours like I did before, I wind up with four out of total eight. So here's my one, two, three, four out of a total of eight pieces. I divide that by four. So I have four eighths, and I divide that by four, I'm going to wind up with one eighth. All right, so if I have, there it is. So one, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth, one eighth. There's my four eighths divided into four parts, and each is worth one eighth, and there is my answer from that. Okay? Which is kind of cool. So the next one here, if I look at this guy, I'm starting with the third. So I'm going to take my pan and divide it into thirds. And I want six parts of that. I'm going to divide that into six. So six, I'm going to share that with six people, let's say. And I kind of like actually solving it this way. I'll break them this way. Two, three, four, five, six. So that's my six parts. And now I can continue this. All right. And if I do, I kind of like the way this one looks better sometimes, but this time I do. There it is. So every everyone's going to get this piece. Now the value of this piece is 1 out of a possible. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. There you have it. Okay. Or you take your 1 third divided by 6, and we focus on this piece here, all right, which is really 6 out of a possible 18. Okay, dividing that into six parts, which gives me one eighteenth. Okay, kind of cool. All right, so that's the deal with that. And now they give us some little quick ways to do this here, a little quick area. So if I have uh, a half tray and I divide that by ten people, what do I have? Well, once again, if I have a half tray right there, I'm dividing that by ten people. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's going to give me uh, 1, right here, out of a possible 20. Okay, There it is, 1 out of a possible 20, because this will split into tenths also. Okay, And this guy here, same type of thing. Yeah, I'm starting with 1 fourth. There it is. Here's my 1 fourth right there. Let's put that into 10 parts, because I'm dividing it or sharing it with 10 people. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That means I have 10 pieces here, 10 pieces here, 10 pieces here, 10 pieces here, which gives me which give me 40 total pieces. And I want one of them. There it is. Okay. Um, and that's basically how it works. If I just want to uh, show an equivalent fraction here, I'm going to say, wait a minute. All right, so I have, I'm going to split one-third into five parts, which means I'm going to have a total of 15 pieces. Okay. And I'm going to have five for this guy. Right. And I'm going to divide that into by 5, and that's going to give me 115. And that's how it is. Okay, so a couple ways you can do this. All right? 
Well, let's see. Maybe a word problem will finish us up today. So teams of four. All right, they're competing in a quarter mile relay race. So they, I'm assuming they're sharing. Yes, so they're going to share the exact same distance. Are they going to share a quarter mile, but they're going to each run the same distance. So what, I'm ha what I have here, so I need a quarter mile. So here's my full mile, but I need that in quarters. Okay, so here's the quarter mile race. And I have four runners. Okay, four runners, so, or four teams. Okay, so four runners. So here they are. Okay, so the, here's uh, one out of a possible four here. Okay, these are all one-fourths, but each teammate is going to run this. Right? Each is going to run one of these guys. Now, one of those is one out of a possible, but I'm going to have to split all these guys. So there are going to be four pieces here, four pieces here, four pieces here, four pieces here. All right. If I draw that, there they are, which gives me a total of 20 pieces, right? Four, eight, 12, I'm sorry, 16 pieces. It gives me a total of 16 pieces. And each one's going to uh, run one of them. Okay, what does that look like? Well, as an algorithm, four teams. Let's see, um, a quarter mile race. So it's a quarter mile race, and I'm dividing that by four different runners, and that's going to give me one out of a possible 16. Okay, so that's the deal. Right. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye bye.